Which proposal? The, the Senate, Senate, Senate President. President's. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's uh, it's very concerning. It would be unprecedented, and uh, frankly, it would be something done for you know, one specific property. And uh, uh, I had a conversation with him. He said that um, you know, he's going to wait and see what happens over the next couple of months. But absolutely, don't support it. And I've expressed my concern. Mr. Lemire, do you support the Senate President's proposal to basically take Providence's power away from zoning on the 195 land? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. And, and the other part of this is that 12 years ago, that land belonged to the City of Providence. At least half of it belonged to the City of Providence. We didn't get anything for this. Okay, I'm off of the faint tower. Okay, I can't understand why anybody would want to build a 600 foot tall building there. But this is all I all I see right now is that all these buildings that we're building down in this area are going to go bankrupt in 10 years, and Brown University is going to end up in there. Okay, you elect me. I'm hiring two lawyers, and I'm suing the state of Rhode Island for our land, at least the money that they got for the land. I understand. And I was told that when, when the whole 195 thing, it was very complicated that there were certain things that had to uh, 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 be done with the land. But you can't tell me that the city of Providence didn't own 10 feet of this or 10 feet of that, that we should have been being paid for, okay? In the real estate game, if you own a corner, okay, the guy's paying for that corner, and it might only be the size of your thumb, but he's paying a lot for it, okay? I don't know who thought that that we didn't own any of it, but the city of Providence owned that land, okay? When it comes to the Fane Tower, as long as he's paying, because I don't think we should give him any kind of tax credits, and I think 600 feet would be a little, like I said at the end, what do they do with the building afterwards? Ms. Wetman, do you support the Senate President's proposal to take zoning authority away from Providence? No, absolutely not, but he's a wily coyote and he's very yeah. smart. So he must sense blood in the water that he even proposes this because he, like a good attorney, knows the outcome before he asks the question. So something is going on. No, I don't support it at all. I am for development. Everybody knows that. The Fane Tower is way too high, as we've all agreed upon. And, but at the same token, a good leader would not let Mr. Fane leave Providence without sitting and talking with him. I absolutely, if I were elected, would be talking again to everyone who's involved. And uh, you need to, someone walks away with $300 million, wouldn't you think you'd want to sit and have a discussion with him? Mr. Lorza, I'm going to give you the 30 seconds because these guys talked about their support specific or opposition specifically to the Fane Tower. I know it's complicated. Give us the 30 second pitch for where you stand on the tower itself. Sure. I've said, I've said a number of times that, you know, I get pitched these uh, development deals every single week. And what I've learned is the first thing that gets pitched to you is very different from what ultimately gets built. It's a process. It's a conversation that you have with them. And I've made it clear that I'm concerned about them coming into public land. I'm concerned about the size. I'm concerned about it, it creating an sort of elite enclave, elitist enclave. So there are a lot of concerns that we have, and also the location. Now, there are places where it can go. All right.